اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ ا نیو ٹاپک ایز یو کین سی آن دا ٹاپ آف یور سلائڈ دا ٹاپک از سولاتی سولاتی واٹ ڈز سولاتی مینس سولاتی از از ا از ا مداح مدافلے یو نو دس سو آئی کین سی دس ناؤ مداح مدافلے اینڈ دا فرسٹ ورڈ بی ول بی سولاتہ سولاتہم سولاتک سولاتکم Salati salatuna. Salat means prayer. Salatuhu his prayer. And salati my prayer. So what is the topic now? My prayer. So in prayer. Shari, yeah, the, the topic is my prayer. And we are going to, inshallah, learn the prayer. The prayer, the five daily prayers, that what we say in those prayers. That's what we are, inshallah, going to learn. And we are going to apply all the tools that we have learned so far. Like we have learned the properties of ism. And we have learned about the, the, the fragments. And we have learned about the outside and inside doors. And we have learned level one uh, verbs, level two verbs we are learning. So whatever we have learned so far, inshallah, we are going to apply uh wherever there's an opportunity to apply it and inshallah this uh, salati the lessons on salati will also uh, help develop uh, our vocabulary uh, which will inshallah eventually help us in understanding the quran so today inshallah uh, we are going to learn the azan azan hmm? So Azan, everybody knows what Azan is, you know, and we, I hope that everybody knows the words of Azan as well. So this is how it starts. Allahu Akbar. And that is said four times. And then, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. It is said two times. Maybe I can, I should get help on this. Uh, Abdullah Shuaib. What is next in Azan? Walaikum As-salam. Ashhadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah. How many times? Two. Two times. What is next? Hayya ala salah. How many Two times? times? Two times. Okay. What next? Hayya ala al-falah. Two times. Next. Allahu Akbar. Four times. No, no. Two. Sorry. Two times. Okay. La ilaha illallah. One time. La ilaha illallah. How many times? One. One time, yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but I think we're forgetting something. What we are forgetting? As-salatu khayrun min al-nawm. Inshallah, we, get, we will get to that. Um, this is a regular azan for most of the prayers, okay? As-salatu khayrun min al-nawm comes in the fajr prayer, fajr azan only. Inshallah, we will cover that, Tanjeen. Okay? Inshallah, we will cover that. So, we have to first learn about Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Thank you, Abdullah. Brother Ahsan. Or Ahsan. May I ask for help? Yes, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. So, first we are going to learn about Allahu Akbar. So, we divide it into two parts. Allah is Ismul Jalal. It means that uh, Allah, obviously, Allah's name. Do you know what's the meaning of Akbar, brother? Great. Big or great. Do you know the word Kabura? Kabura. What's the meaning of Big. Kabura? Kabura Yakburu. In level one chapter, Karuma. Kabura big means he was big. Big. And the small file was Kabir. The one who big. is big. Akbar means bigger. Okay? Right, bigger. Yeah. And you see it is light. It is not Akbar run. Or so it is light. Do you agree? Yes. Side. You know why it is light? Um uh, it's right in I... front of you, brother. Uh, it's partially flexible. Partly flexible. Partly flexible. There was a list of words that we that I shared 
type of words uh, under flexibility. Right? There are there are there are words who are fully flexible, the words which are non-flexible, and the words which are partly flexible. Partly flexible words, uh, they don't have the mean, you know, and they don't take kasra, except in a certain situation. So akbaru is a partly flexible word. And it means bigger. So how you will translate Allahu Akbaru? Allah is? Allah is the biggest. No, Allah is bigger. Allah is, Allah bigger. is the biggest. For sure, Allah is the biggest. But over here, Akbaru does not mean that. Allah mean, Akbaru means Allah is? Bigger. Bigger. Allah is bigger or Allah is greater. And there is a there is a sense behind it because you may be busy in doing a something you may be studying you are doing lawn work or doing something, and then azan is called. And the first words are Allahu Akbar. Allah is bigger than whatever you are doing. Allah is greater than whatever you are doing right now. So leave it, and go for prayer. Okay, so this is the concept behind it. Right. Obviously, Allah is the biggest. But Allahu Akbar does not mean that over here. It means Allah is bigger. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Brother Ehsan. Your Ehsan or Ahsan, Brother? Ehsan. Ehsan. Okay. Thank you. Thank so, you, Brother, brother is, this, is this Allahu Akbar, is this a Sifa Masuf? No, not at all. Allah is, for Sifa Masuf, they have to match in all the four properties. Okay, Allah is Ma'rif. Allah is, is pro proper noun. Akbaru is a common noun. Okay, it's a, it it's a sentence. They are not Sifa Masuf. And we are translating it as a sentence. It's a jumla, a sentence. Allah it's is bigger. It's not, it's if not it was Sifa Masuf, we will say bigger Allah. Right. Right? We cannot say that. It does not meet the conditions of Sifa Masuf. Right. So, it's, it's right? Not. so Allah is bigger. It's not a fragment. Not at all. It's a Thank sentence. You. It's a complete sentence. Allah is bigger. All right. Uh, next. Um, uh Taimiya. Taimiya? Yes. Can you read the next line? <clears throat> Ashhadu an Allah ilaha illallah. Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah. Ashhadu. What's the first word for Ashhadu? Do you know? Shahada. Um, Shahida. 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 Shahida Yashid. Shahida Yash Hadu Yash Hadu, yeah. What chapter that will be? Samiya Yasma. Okay. Shahida means he bore witness or he declared. There can be two meanings for this word. Okay, next word. An. That. Keep going word by word. La, not ilaha God, illa except Allah, Allah. Combine. Adi okay, you know, before you combine. Start from Shahida, reach Ashadu, give me the meaning. Shahida, Shahidu, Shahita, Shahitum, Shahitu, Shahidna, Yashadu, Yashaduna, Tashadu, Tashaduna, Ashadu. Meaning? I bear witness or I will bear witness. Yeah. So this is in the Mudare column, huh? Second last word in the Mudare column. Ashadu. Combine the whole uh, words, the translation, and make it a sentence. I bear witness that it, there is no God except Allah. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah. So, Ilah means deity, worthy of worship, the one who is worthy of worship, or in easy translation, we can say God. And we have to say there is, just to make it a sentence in English. I bear witness that there is. There, there's no word for there is over here. But just to make a sentence, we have to say that. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Taimiyah. 
Okay, next one. Uh, next one. Sister, sister of here. Can you read the next one? Before you read the next one, sister, I will just make a comment. Ilaha. Ilaha, it is not ilahun or ilahan. It is light. As we can see it. And it is a common noun and it is mansub. It has three things in it. It is common noun. It has nasab status and it is light. When this happens and there is a la before it. And we see that over here. There is a la and then there is an ism which is common noun. Its status is nasab and it is light. Then this la is a very categorical negation. Absolutely no God. Okay, we have to make it stronger. It's a categorical negation now. This la is a very strong la. I bear witness that there is absolutely no God except Allah. So remember this. This will be used in Quran. So you, then we have to translate this la, this categorical negation appropriately, the way it is supposed to be. I bear witness that there is absolutely no God except Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tanjeen, did you have a comment? You have your hand up. Well, I was I was thinking to like translate some, some okay, part I'll of the give you a turn. How about I had called the sister I think I had called sister Afi, I think, before. So I let her do this and then I go to go to you inshallah after that. Sister Afi, please. Sister. Okay, Tanjeen. All right. So which part again? Ashadu anna Muhammad. All right. Ashadu, oh, I believe, anna. Uh -huh. there... Sorry, sorry, sorry. What did you yeah. say? I, oh, I meant I declare. Or I bear. Or I bear witness. Mm -hmm. Anna. That Muhammad, Muhammad, Rasulullah, Messenger of Allah. What kind of fragment Rasulullah is? What kind of fragment? Mm -hmm. It's. You don't know? You should know. Yeah. Anybody who knows what kind of fragment is this? Sister Rihanna, yes. Mudaf, mudaf so what will be the translation? Rasulullah is the messenger of Allah. Messenger of Allah, yeah. Okay, Tanjeen, this is mudaf, mudaf This is disappointing. You should know this. Mudaf, mudaf. Now? I... I I bear witness that Muhammad is is a messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad وسلم, is a messenger of Allah. Rasulullah, Rasul is light. It has doesn't have al with it. Allah, the loves of Jalala is majrood. It has jar status. Rasulullah is mudaf mudaf ilay. Thank you, Sister Rihanas. Thank you, Tanjeen. Okay, we go to the next. Hayya ala salah. Hayya. Al-Salah. Uh, okay. Uh, Brother Talha, may I request you? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as Hayya al-Salah. Do you know Hayya? What's the meaning of Hayya? Hayya means I believe come towards. Come. Come. Yeah, yeah exactly. Allah means? Allah means towards. Allah, this is... Uh, not ila. This is okay. ain ala uh, upon. Okay, it's upon. Yeah, come upon a salah. Namaz. Yeah, namaz prayer. Yeah. Prayer. Yeah. So come upon the prayer, but come it upon the means prayer. come towards. Upon. Yeah. Okay. Come to the prayer. Come to the prayer. Come to the prayer. Come is hayya is uh, is an imperative word. This is like a command, and this is used for males and females, singular, plural, for everyone. And it means come. 
come. come upon the prayer. That would be literal translation, but actually it means come to the prayer. To the prayer, yeah. Come to the prayer. Allah Salah, what kind of fragment is that, brother? Jar Majroor. Jar Majroor, very good. Can you do the next one as well? Yeah. Hayya al Falah. So Hayya means come, Ala means upon, Al Falah means a Falah kitar of home means come towards success, yeah. Come towards sex, success. Come to the success. So, what is that? What is al 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 fala? What kind of fragment is that? Jar majru. Jar majru. Very good. Ala is a jar, and al fala he is. So, come to the prayer. Come to the success, and come quickly. Hayya has a sense of quickness in it too. Come quickly. Okay. Yeah. And the next. Thank you, brother. Next one is Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, same as before. Allahu Akbar. Allah is bigger. Allah is bigger. And now the last one. Last line. And Ali, can you translate it properly now? La ilaha illallah. There is absolutely no God. There is absolutely no God. Except Allah. There is absolutely no God except Allah. Okay, now we are going to come to the point what uh, uh, Tanjeen was saying. Hmm? Tanjeen said something. So we are going to look after that, inshallah. Uh, Brother Muhammad Kabir, in uh, the Fajr Azan, there is a change. There is an addition, rather. What is that? Where does it fit? Uh, after Hayya al Falah. So I have to drop these two. Make sense? Yes. How many times? Uh, twice. Twice. Okay. Can you do word by word translation, please? Inshallah. Right. As salat, uh, the prayer, mm -hmm. quite better, uh, mean from unknown sleep. Okay. I have a. Um, question about min and noun. What kind of fragment is this? Jar Majroor. Jar Majroor. So noun is from Nama. Do you remember what type it was? Yeah, I think, you know, Bab Ajwa, uh, this is noun ya namu. So khafa ya khafu. Khafa ya khafu. What is noun then? What, where noun does it come in table? It's masdar. It's masdar. So it's the last word. Or what does noun mean then? Now means to sleep or sleep. Or the sleep itself. Yeah, yeah. The sleep itself. Okay, can you combine? Yeah. Uh, the prayer is better than the sleep. Yeah, mean means from. So if you go literally, yeah. what it will mean? Uh, the prayer is better from the sleep. Is it good English? Uh, no, no, not necessarily. No, it's not good English. So it's a, because of English, uh, we need to improve the English uh, translation. That's why we say than. But in Arabs, Arabic, Arabs say min, from. But khair, one more thing. Khair could also mean good, could also mean better, could also mean best in some situations. Mm -hmm. So it's context. When it comes with min, it means better. Khairum min, better than. Better than. Can you say the translation again, brother? Yes. So the prayer is better than the sleep. Prayer is better than the sleep. So... This is an addition which is made in the Azan for the first prayer of the morning, you know, the, the, the Fajr prayer. Thank you, Brother Muhammad Kabir. Okay, so this is all done about the Azan. So once Azan is done and the, the time of Ikama comes, means the people have to stand up and start the prayer, Ikama is called. Okay, and in Ikama, all these words except Asalatu Minan Asalatu Khairum Minan Naum is said. But there is something else said. Does anybody know what those words are? Brother Abdul Majib? Qad Qamati Salah. Qad Qamati Salah. Where does it fall in this list? Uh, after Hayyal Al Falah. After Hayyal Al Falah. So instead of Asalatu Khairum Minan, Qad Qamati Salah is said. How many times, brother? Uh, twice. Twice. Can you help me translate this? 
Yeah, Qad means verily. Uh, Qama means uh, uh, he stood up. So Qamat is she stood up because Salah is feminine. So where and, will you, what chapter that will be, brother? Kama. Uh, Kama Yakumu. Kala Yakulu. Baba Jok. Okay. And you said Kama means he stood up. But this is not Kama. This is what? Uh, you said it already. Kamat because it's feminine. Because Salah is feminine. Kamat means she stood up. She okay. stood up, yes. Yeah. Uh, as Salah, as Salah. So basically, uh, verily, the Salah has stood up. So okay, let me let me help. Uh, let me understand this, brother. What seems Kad we leave Kad alone. We don't translate Kad at the beginning. Kamat means what again? She stood up. She stood up. What is the inside door? She. she. So we should look for the outside door. Mm -hmm. And it is a salatu. A salatu is, is the door. outside door. She yeah. is the inside door of Kamat. But when she or he is the inside door, we look for an outside door. And a salatu, because it is rafa, it is the outside door. So th the inside door, she, will be replaced by the outside door, which is a salatu. And kad, what's the role of kad? We, if we don't translate kad, it will be. It's basically kad. to emphasize. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as kad ka, sorry, without kad, Kamati Salatu will mean the prayer stood up. The prayer stood up. But if we add Kad before it, it means the prayer has stood up. Stood up yeah. Prayer yeah. has. People have stood up. They are ready for yeah. prayer. So come join. So that's what yeah. it is yeah, saying. It's kad plus Madi. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, kad plus like Madi. So past, the prayer past, has past. stood up. The prayer is yeah. ready, what it means. Okay. So this is said two times when uh, the people stand up and this is part of the iqama so we have this we have uh, learned the azan then we we'll, uh, learned the addition that is done to the uh, fajr azan and then we have learned the addition which is done for iqama iqama means the the call which is made right before the the start of the prayer so that's where I will stop and inshallah we go into the breakout room.